<laughs> I almost missed it there, huh? Ah, it's nothing like a. I've had the busiest three days of my life. You know, I was going downstairs, <clears throat> and I was carrying this uh, heavy uh, motor base. And when I got to the bottom of the stairs, the back of my heel caught this nail sticking out, and it like ripped the back of my foot open. Just it's like bleeding everywhere. I've already like changed the band. Isn't that nice? It's a good thing I don't have medical care. <laughs> I haven't had medical care, um, medical insurance in a long time. I don't know why I'm looking at this. I've only got three lines here. Don't need to talk about. It. I've owned every GFX camera made, in, uh, including every lens. By the way, I'm testing, and I don't want to, you know, give away anything on the review of this. The GFX 50s Mark II which, of course, doesn't have a removable uh, EVF electronic viewfinder. No big deal. Um, I actually love the uh, tilt swiveling viewfinder in the GFX 100 and the original GFX uh, 50S. However, you know, as an expenditure, and you have to buy the tilt adapter hinge for it. Um, and testing out, of course, the new 35-70 to 70 lens. Um, this camera, by the way, is uh, $4,000 new. And uh, for five hundred dollars more, which I can, even though I'm not reviewed the lens, well worth it for another five hundred bucks. You get the kit lens, the thirty-five to seventy. I don't want to review this lens; it's not what this video is about. Right now, my favorite camera in the whole world, which is uh, the GFX 50R, which is essentially a brick, right? But it's perfect with a hand strap. It's on sale. I don't know how long it's going to continue. It's on sale for three thousand dollars, which is absolutely unbelievable. Uh, in photography school, I grew up with a medium format. I actually grew up in medium format even for photography school. Twin lens reflex cameras. had a Rolly and had a couple Yashica Mat 124Gs. Medium format just crushes it on everything. I've said this before many countless times and I'm 100% right and completely undeniable when I say that when digital hit really hard, which is around about the time of the Nikon D3, when everybody knew it was like, yeah, film is pretty much kind of dead. Pretty much kind of. Medium format has, at that time, and still does, film continue on with great vigor. Medium format remains strong. It always has, I really will. The one thing that's been the issue for the past couple of years, and most people do are suffering uh, from uh, gear acquisition syndrome, gas, burnout. I know you're suffering from it, and of course with everything that's hit the economy so incredibly hard and with everything that's actually going on in the world, you know, there's an issue for all of us. And I completely agree. And uh, I don't work for Fujifilm. They don't pay me a single thing. Um, I'm only borrowing this camera for a couple of weeks. I don't want to give away the review of this camera. But Fujifilm's the first camera company in the world on digital that made medium format extremely affordable. Here's a fact. Now, on this new, new camera, which just came out, it's using the same old sensor. Talk about that in a second that's used in my GFX 50R and of course the GFX 50S and even before those cameras came along the sensor had been used in uh, the old Pentax it's the same sensor in this, been around for a long 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 time there's not a single person on this earth not a single one that's ever looked at the images off of the sensor from the 50S, the 50R and the new 50S Mark II which all are the same sensors that it, I just don't like the look of that you know <laughs> It's absolutely mind-bending. It's incredible image output. There's one thing that has to be said. If you're suffering from gear acquisition, so it's like, you know, I want something that's going to last me, you know, as long as I take care of it. Electronics is electronics, of course. And I want something that is not going to disappoint. In other words, five years down the road, I'm not going to say, oh, you know, yeah, I wished I'd uh, waited for that uh, new, 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 new model. And that is medium format. It's always been that way, but it's been completely out of touch to everybody other than, you know, really hardcore product photographers. It was just, like, if you bought medium format digital, before Fujifilm got into medium format, and actually made it affordable. And now it's not only affordable, I mean, it's just insanely cheap. I've had quite a few people tell me they've picked up used GFX 50Rs between the $1,200 to $2,000 range. I mean... That's just ridiculous. That used to be what a, a really good used Nikon D500 went for. You know, that's a crop sensor camera. And like a year after it came out, it's like excellent condition, Nikon D500. 
If you want something, you know, for yourself, for the holidays, some people like buy themselves a Christmas gift, and I don't work for Fujifilm. Fujifilm, over any other camera company, Nikon, Sony, don't care. They've got them all crucified. Now, I know medium format is not for sports action wildlife. I know what medium format can and can't do, okay? I've uh, owned and tested more cameras than you could possibly imagine. I know what it is not for. But for 95% of everything, 99% of the people do, it's incredible. And now it is incredibly affordable. This is yes, this old sensor and this uh, GFX uh, 50S Mark II. Now, of course, now it has IBIS. Yeah, wonderful. Um, Fujifilm, of course, are the world's fastest uh, focusing and medium format cameras by a long, long stretch, but that doesn't mean an enormous amount considering medium format is essentially slow compared to any sports action wildlife camera like a Nikon, even an old Nikon D4, D4S, Nikon D5, Nikon D850, Nikon D500. It's not made for that, obviously so. You can set focusing traps. You could do, like I said, 95% of what 99% of anybody ever wants to shoot can be done. And medium format really does quench gear acquisition syndrome. It really does. Um, medium format trumps absolutely everything. It does. It doesn't trump it for sports action wildlife, for which you need the appropriate camera. Okay, so don't attack me on that. I, I know what medium format can't do. But the image output is just so incredible. And people say, why do you need so many megapixels in medium format image output if you're posting everything on Instagram? You know, that may be true to a certain extent, but what it does, it gives you an enormous amount of latitude with a nice 5K or 4K display. It gives you an enormous amount of latitude for photo editing. Capture One, Lightroom, Photoshop, an enormous amount of elbow room for editing. That's incredibly important. When you start doing that, you know, you appreciate the images immediately, of course. You're like, wow, I've got so much more room to push and pull things and do things with this image in Lightroom, Photoshop, Capture One. Um, just consider that if you want to, you know, curb back on buying camera gear, which I'm all for, especially in these day, this day and age, I really am. Consider getting a medium format uh, Fujifilm camera. It's basically, you know, I got my X-T4 right over here. It's always out. I never put it up because I'm always using it. This, uh, how many times I've actually recharged the batteries on this sucker? I've got three batteries in my X-T4. Recharged it uh, three times this week. Um, like, why didn't I have my GFX camera out? I love packing my X-T4 everywhere with me. I leave it in the car. Not when it's really hot or really cold, obviously, but I love taking my X-T4 everywhere. But medium format does trump everything. It just absolutely does. Um, Fujifilm does have a rental program where you can actually test drive a GFX camera. But, I mean, just consider this. The GFX 50R, which it doesn't have IBIS, but it's the same sensor in this new GFX 50S, is only $3,000 new. Only 3000 if you get the GFX 50S Mark II, you know, you can get the lens. The, the camera is 4000 Another 500 bucks buys you this kit lens. I'll be reviewing this camera and lens soon. I'm still testing the hell out of it. Like I said, I own every GFX lens. I've uh, owned every GFX camera. I've always been the biggest medium format fan ever. Medium format, is just, it's better than everything. I know, I know it's not for sports action and wildlife, but everything looks better on medium format. I'm sorry. You can't pull an image up of a GFX uh, uh, image on like a 4K, 27-inch 4K or 5K display. You might not be impressed if you pull it up on your old laptop, you know, <laughs> with the RGB display. It's like, it's not that impressive. Like, yeah, why don't you buy yourself a new monitor, like a nice 4K monitor? It's just absolutely jaw-dropping incredible. So if you want to get rid of the gear acquisition syndrome, I'll tell you short out. The answer is go medium format, period. And now it's cheap and affordable. Never has been before. Fujifilm has done that. No one, none of these other big camera companies like Nikon, Canon, Sony. Well, Sony's not really a camera company. They're a consumer electronics company. They've not done it. Fujifilm did it. The right move on their part. Anyway, I'm Fujifilm's GFX, the number one GFX fan in the whole world. 
I know Fujifilm probably doesn't like that. They hate the fact that all the information, of course, the free book that I wrote for Fujifilm on Fujifilm tips and tricks is below. The book is free. I'm sure they don't like the fact that there's this bald, tattooed, fat guy. That's their number one uh, purveyor of information, tips and tricks on Fujifilm stuff. But big deal. I know they love the sales that I bring them. But uh, I don't get anything from them. So they sure as heck aren't giving me anything. She only give me this camera either. I wished. I actually enjoying testing this camera. Same sensor as my 50R, my old 50S. Uh, it's odd now that I can say the GFX 50S is an old camera. Not really, but I did sell off that camera because I just had too many GFX cameras. Sold it to a nice guy in Texas. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and wait for it. Fujifilm.